Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about this collaboration with Becca Cosmetics and Chrissy Teigen. I am super, super excited to be trying out this palette today because I haven't heard a whole lot about it, so I am excited to see what I think about it, to see what it looks like on my skin. I think the only thing I've really seen about this palette is the a sleepover party that Chrissy hosted with Becca at some really nice house that I saw on Snapchat. Desi was there. Luster Lux was not there. I don't know, but it was a lot of like beauty influencers and things like that. That seemed super, super duper cool. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna kind of show you guys what it comes with and show you guys what it looks like on me. I don't have anything on. I did accidentally put on a little bit of bronzer and then I was like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? I'm doing a demo today. And so I literally tried to wipe it off and I like tried to put powder all over my face so that it would take away the bronzer. So it looks a little bronze, but it's okay, I took most of it off. And I'm super, super excited to see the color payoff and the pigmentation. If you guys are interested and want to see more, then just keep watching. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me and sign up for alerts whenever I post. And all you do is just click the little bell next to my name so that you're alerted whenever I post videos. And also follow me on Snapchat and Instagram because y'all know I'd be up on that Snapchat. So yes, that'll work. Uh, anyways, we're just gonna jump right in. So this palette retails for, I believe, I think it was like $40, maybe $45, maybe $38, I don't know, but I will have the price right here. Um, so yeah, it's really, really cute. The packaging is adorable. It's like a pinkish peach color with gold writing on it as far as like the little paper box it comes with. Becca Chrissy Teigen Glow Face Palette. I absolutely love Chrissy Teigen, by the way. Like Chrissy Teigen is one of my favorite celebrities, I guess you could say. I love following her, like her cooking posts, her recipes and things like that. I just love watching her cook and um, she's always looking so, like I have such a girl crush on her. She always looks so beautiful. She just has a glow. Her cheeks are beautiful. Like just everything about her is just so gorgeous and she's hilarious too. So, and I love that she cooks. Like she's just so down to earth and so funny. That's another reason why I got this because I just love Chrissy Teigen. It says go from a natural fresh beach glow to a glowing goddess all in one palette. So it's kind of basically saying that it's buildable. You can kind of get whatever look you're wanting from this palette. Features shimmering skin perfector pressed highlighter in new beach nectar and rose gold, new sunlit bronzer in Malibu Soleil, new luminous blush and hibiscus bloom. So all of this is new. I don't know about the rose gold, that might be something that they've had. This is what it looks like whenever you take it out. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking pretty, like traveling with this. It's just gorgeous. It has a little piece of plastic on top that you can take off. It's just protective over this. Look how gorgeous this is. Like just taking this to the beach with you, like it's the perfect beach face palette just to take on vacation, traveling. Oh my gosh, and it has like a rose gold component like packaging, that nice rose gold. I absolutely love rose gold, it's so pretty, but it has like the nice, Beachy sort of, I don't know what you'd call that. It looks like watercolor on the background. Becca, Chrissy Signature. Open it up and oh my gosh, it's so freaking pretty. I haven't even swatched it or anything. So this is kind of like a first impression too. Kind of hard to show a mirror with like my lights or whatever, but the mirror is right here. It's so pretty. And then it comes with the two highlights, the bronzer and the brush. Blush. Wow. That is what they look like. This bronzer I'm going to apply first and it is the Malibu Soleil bronzer. I'm not sure if this is the new formula that they had that they came out with. I have no idea, but I'm going to actually like pretty much contour with this bronzer. Um, see how it is. Ooh, it's like really, really pigmented. And I like the fact that it's like a really good shade of brown and it has like just a hint of terracotta. It's not too much or anything like that. It doesn't have like a red hint to it. It's just super pretty. You can see the difference in my cheeks. Um, what it looks like. Oh my gosh, I love Chrissy Teigen's contour always is so beautiful. So I'm trying to achieve that through this palette pretty much. Oh my gosh. So pretty. I love this bronzer more than I thought that I would. I honestly thought I'd like the bronzer least out of this palette, but I'm pleasantly surprised with the color payoff right there. Um, I don't think I've ever tried a Becca bronzer before. I'm trying to remember if I have. I'm obsessed. I love that a lot. It's really, really pretty. Now I'm going to try out the highlight. So there's two highlights. It's rose gold and peach nectar. This one right here is the rose gold up here. And then this one down here is peach nectar. It looks like a little bit like champagne pop. Just to give you guys a comparison, um, this is natural daylight. It's very bright outside. The one on the left is champagne pop and the one on the right is peach nectar. I would say the peach nectar would definitely look good on 
more deep skin tones um, or if you have a good tan going. Here is an indoor view of kind of what it looks like. The left or the bottom one is the champagne pop, top is peach nectar. I'm just gonna do different the different ones on each side of my face and then I might blend them out afterwards just to see. And I always like to spray my face before I go in with highlighter so I'm gonna go ahead and spray with this Honest Beauty Elevated hydration. This is like the only setting spray I've been using other than I did try the cover effects one a couple times But I honestly love this one for the time being Just a little bit is all I need Okay, so I'm gonna do the rose gold on the left side of my face and then I'm gonna do the peach nectar on the right side of my face um, And I'm gonna use my Anastasia brush. I'm just gonna clean it off real quick Rose gold is really pretty like it's not too rosy. It has just enough of like a champagne -y sort of uh, hue to it without it being too rose gold. Ooh, absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Becca is definitely one of my favorite uh, cosmetic brands for a uh, highlight in particular because, come on, it gives you that wet highlight. Oh my gosh, that is so freaking gorgeous. Ooh, look at that. Oh my gosh, so I am super duper obsessed with that rose gold. I like it a lot more than I thought that I would. Um, just because I never really know how rose gold is going to be like on my skin tone sometimes. I am pretty tan. I just tanned yesterday, so I think it's mainly going to look good whenever I am tan. Um, but now I'm going to go into that peach nectar color, which is right here. Sorry about the mirror. It's like, but this mirror, by the way, is like amazing quality. I just want to say that. Here's the peach nectar. Oh my gosh, I'm definitely going to be mixing the two every day. So freaking gorgeous. They're both really similar. Like I can't really tell a big difference of like of it on my face. This is just more pink and this is just more uh, peach. Pink peach. At least that's what it, like a rose, I guess, which would be pink to me. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. I'm gonna do the rose for my chin and the rose for my nose. Ooh, yes. I think I like the rose a little bit more, but then again, I love the peach too. I think like I'll like the peach whenever I'm a little bit lighter. Okay, so last but not least, I have the blush in the shade Hibiscus Bloom. And I will say, this is a pretty bright blush. I kind of wish it was a little bit more toned down because I know it's gonna be super duper bright. I just have a feeling. But at the same time, I think it'll be really pretty for a tan look to just give you that pop of color um, with the glow and everything. I think it's gonna tie in really nicely. But it's like, I do kind of wish that it was like a little bit more toned down. It kind of reminds me of like how Jaclyn Hill had a really bright, bright, bright blush in her face palette that she came out with. And I wasn't a huge fan of that really bright one because I just didn't use it. We will see what it looks like on. It might look better than I think it will. Um, but I just wiped off my brush and I'm going to be dipping into Hibiscus Bloom. Does anybody know of a good Hibiscus tea? Because I am just obsessed with Hibiscus tea right now. All right, so here we go, applying it. Mm -hmm. All right, so that is really, really pretty. It's really pretty, it's really pigmented. It's kind of like a corally pink color, I guess you could say. It has a very, very bright coral hue to it. So yeah, I'm, I normally do a lot of like nude sort of blushes, so this is kind of intense for me but I really do like it on really tan skin. I think that's the only way I'd really like it is if, or when I'm really, really tan. That's gorgeous, like, that's really, really pretty. This is so Chrissy Teigen, I feel like, I just, I feel like I have the Chrissy Teigen glow going on right now, which I should, but I definitely feel that glow that she has whenever she's like on the red carpet and you just see her and you're like, oh my gosh, you look, literally like a goddess that just walked off the beach like off of a photo shoot or whatever just but she's just so natural too Alrighty, so I have the Chrissy Teigen Becca palette on my face right now, and I am absolutely blown away by the quality of this palette. When I saw the pictures at first, I was a little let down because I just, I don't know, I just was a little turned off by the blush, and I thought maybe it was a little too dark, deep 
you know, for something. But at the same time, it's coming out at the perfect time of the year, summer, when we're gonna be tan. And, you know, it can really reach a lot of different skin tones. I think for fair skin tones, it's gonna be a little bit harder to work with. But going into summer, getting tan, I feel like that it'll be okay. I feel like this color blush is gorgeous, but on fair girls, it's just it's gonna be really hard to work with. I think you're definitely gonna to have to just take a tiny bit and tap it off and then you could probably work with it. But um, but yeah, on me right now, I'm absolutely loving it. I love the packaging. Packaging is like A++. I love the rose gold. It's compact, it's good for travel, but it's very heavy duty and like very um, sturdy at the same time. So you know it's not gonna break, or at least I feel like it wouldn't. Um, I haven't tested that out yet. But I absolutely love it. I love the rose gold on this side. This is my better side, so I always am like biased. But this is the peach one, and I love that one too. I just feel like this one is just, I don't know, it's different. The rose gold is different, and I don't have a rose gold highlight that I can think of in my head right now. So I love the bronzer. I love all of it. I really, really do. I'm very happy with it. I give it an A++. Um, it is approved from ET Beauty. I absolutely love it. So great job, Becca. Great job, Chrissy. I love this collaboration. I'm really happy, happy with the packaging, the formula, everything. I honestly think that this is just going to look better with time because glowiness, like after your skin gets more dewy, I just, I feel like it just gets better and better. At least for my skin, I feel like I don't really get oily. So I, I don't I don't know whatever oil does come out. I like the way that that looks so if that sounds gross Sorry, but anyways if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more demos and reviews Then don't forget to give me a thumbs up on this video and let me know if you guys got this palette and your thoughts on it Do you guys like the palette? What would you have changed about this palette? Um, I honestly am really blown away and impressed by it So let me know down below what you guys think and always let me know what you want to see next I love you guys so much, and I hope that you have a great day whatever you're doing wherever you are and I will see you in my next video.